This video is for the moving around in Blender basics with a laptop trackpad or maybe a mighty mouse, something like that. Something that doesn't have a third wheel, kind of scrolly wheel on the mouse. This is the way I usually design because I'm usually on a laptop. So when you're designing, there's three different ways you can move around in Blender. First, just hold down Alt on your keyboard and just click with that left mouse and that is your orbit or rotate tool. You can look all around and you always want to be changing your view in 3D. Always while you're designing, you're just changing and moving and changing and moving. And the second way to move around is to zoom. So to do that, you want to hold Alt and Control and then click that left mouse button. You can zoom right there with a two button mouse. And if this isn't working for you, you want to make sure you have your settings set up correctly under Edit, Preferences, input emulate three button mouse and save the second way to move around is the zoom tool and to do that on your mouse and keyboard you're going to hold alt and control while left clicking and that will let you zoom in and out and remember you can go into full screen with control spacebar or command spacebar and that will let you toggle into full screen so go ahead and just try that try and toggle in and out of full screen and just orbit and zoom around and so the next thing I want y'all to try is the third way to look and move around, which is the pan. So to pan, you're going to hold Alt again and Shift while left clicking. And that will let you pan left and right, up and down, all around this good town. So just go ahead and start moving around and rotating and orbiting and then try some zooms and try some panning and make sure that you can move around inside of Blender and the better you are at moving and grooving the better designer you're going to be and the easier it is to get in there and make quick changes. So go ahead and try that and if your views get messed up you can always reset them on your numpad with number one, number three, and number seven. And You can also hit the period on the numpad to frame the selected. Also remember if you're using a smaller laptop that doesn't have a numpad you can go into your preferences and under input you can emulate numpad and then save close the box you can also now reset your view using the one two three four five six seven eight nine zero up at the top so let's jump into the next video which will cover duplicating and editing basics